Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we're doing an um, Asian Cup reaction. And I almost forgot my headphones. So. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Let's do this. So let's start with the first game we got here is Iran 2, Japan 1. Wow. Unbelievable, man. For Iran to win this kind of game. And this kind of fashion is insane. And they had to come from behind as well, guys. And they also did without Taremi. And guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys. And I know you guys might be surprised I'm saying this. I'm surprised, but I'm not that surprised. Because I said in my predictions that honestly, I could see Iran getting the... I could see Iran upsetting Japan. I could see it happening. Because I haven't really been convinced with Japan in this tournament. I haven't. You know... But I didn't pick Iran to win because of the fact that Tremi wasn't available. I just thought that Tremi would be such a big miss. And I thought Japan would win because of the fact, you know, Iran would miss so many chances and Japan would find a way. Japan would find ways to score, right? But ultimately, Iran actually managed to pull through and win 2-1. And this is huge. The Japan is knocked out of the quarterfinals, man. So let's start with the first half, man. Because for me, the first half from Japan was actually pretty solid. I thought Japan had a good start of the game. Uh, they scored that early goal. Great growth goal there for Marita, skipping past the four defenders. And Iran, they didn't look that great. They had the good chances, though, in the first half. You know, they created they had seven shots, one target, 41% possession. You could tell that Iran meant business, right? And the second half, man, the second half, Iran turned it up a notch. Japan were really poor in the second half. They didn't really create any, get any goal scoring opportunities in the second half. You can see right here, guys, four shots, one on target. Now, they did have some big chances here and there. I think uh, they did force out wide. But ultimately, they didn't create any goal-scoring opportunities. And you could see Iran, man. Asmu, man. That pass from Asmu to Mohibi. Fantastic finish. Fantastic finish. Iran didn't even score again. Asmu scored again. But it was... Uh, Asmu scored, but it was disallowed. I believe it was marginally offside. Japan were let off a hook there. And then finally, in the last minute of the game, Itakura gives away a very clumsy penalty. And John Bakash steps up and converts the penalty to make it 2-1 to Iran, man. And yeah... For Japan, as I said, man, they just blew the game. They really blew the game, man. And for me, Japan were terrible the second half. Defensively, were shocked. Itakura had a disaster class. I thought he was terrible on the day. Not even just for the penalty. He was terrible as well. And you can see this Japanese team that just, like, defensively, they just look all over the place. They really did. And you know what I learned with this Japanese team is that this Japan team isn't great when it comes to playing possession ball. When they try to play possession ball, they're just not as good. They're really, really good in counterattacking. Counterattacking is what makes them very good. And that's what they did employed in the World Cup against the likes of Spain and Germany. But when they try to play toe-to-toe -to -toe football possession base, it just doesn't work. You can see right here, they only eight shots, two on target, whereas Iran had 70 shots, four on target. Iran were really good in the second half, man. You have to give Emma Golani a massive ton of credit for changing the system. And doing this without one of the star players, Mandy Terami, is very, very impressive. And the fact that he didn't make any substitutions was just pretty crazy. He made substitutions, obviously, right at the end. But, you know, and Osman, man, Osman was amazing. I thought Osman was Iran's best player. He was controlling the game. He was making those driving runs. And let's be real, guys. Osman, for, Osman hasn't really showed up for Iran in this time in degree. And for Iran, this is massive, man. I believe this is the first time they ever beat in Japan in a competitive game in their history. So this is absolutely astonishing. And remember, they got revenge for 2019, guys. They got revenge for the 2019 semifinals. And they triumphed, man. So shout out to Iran, man. They got the job done. And this is a fantastic, man. They're in the semifinals playing against host Qatar. We'll talk, we'll talk about Qatar in a bit. But yeah, but for Japan, man, as I said, man, very disappointing to bow out at the quarterfinals of the Asia Cup. I thought that might have re, uh, I thought things would have maybe been better after they got that win over Bahrain. But it, but it just shows that you can't underestimate any teams, you know. And I think for Japan, man, Moriyasu, man, does he deserve to get sacked? Because the substitutions he made wasn't really effective. Like, Mitomo wasn't effective. I mean, Amino wasn't really effective. Masayo, Asano wasn't really effective. And it kind of is a worrying sign for Japan. Like, I, I, I'm very concerned for what Japan is in the future. And, yeah, for Suzaki, man, I don't think you can really blame Suzaki for today. I don't think Suzaki is really at fault for today. I wouldn't really blame him. I would just blame the defense. And, yeah, Japan's defense was all over the place. They were, they were, they just weren't good whatsoever. And Iran has so many chances. Like if Iran were more clinical in this game, this could have been a, this could have been humiliation for Japan. This could have been, but obviously it wasn't. And for Iran, man, huge, huge win. They go to the semifinals, and uh, let's see if they can make the final, as they were very close to doing twenty nineteen. So, for Japan, man, you must be feeling devastated, agonizing. Like this was a bad tournament for Japan. Like 
Like, like, let's be real, guys. Japan, the only game I would say they really, really just like, let's be real, guys. Japan haven't really been that convincing this tournament. They haven't. So, like I said, guys, I think that's pretty much it for um Iran. So, shout out to Iran, man, and um for Japan, man. A lot of worrying signs coming up. Next up, it is Qatar one, Uzbekistan one. Qatar, man, uh, not impressed, not impressed with Qatar. And they were somewhat fortuitous to have won this game. But you could also make a strong argument that Qatar could have won this game. Because, in my opinion, I think this was this was kind of a difficult game. I would say the first half, Qatar were the much better team. You can see right here, they created all the chances. Um, you know, and um, they had that great goal, man. Great, great goal there from, um, you know, what was it? I think Al Haidos. Um, it was actually ruled as an own goal, though, because the goalkeeper slipped and put his own net. And then Uzbekistan had a really golden chance to score, man. A really, really good chance to score there. But I believe one of the guys, the center backs, did a goal line clearance. And the second I met, Uzbekistan started to show some signs. They started to improve significantly. And Qatar were pretty bad in the second half, I would say. Qatar were not great in the second half. Uzbekistan started to control, and they scored a lovely, lovely goal. Cumberbatch scoring um, to equalize to make it 1-1. And from that point on, man, Uzbekistan were trying to get the second goal. You had to give credit to Barshim. Barshim made some big saves. And then extra time, I would say, man, extra time was a bit even. It wasn't really too, uh, we had didn't have any golden opportunities, but an extra time, man. That's the second half extra time. I think Qatar had a very late goal. Uh, they could have honestly scored. And you can tell Uzbekistan were pushing for penalties. I think you could tell that Uzbekistan wanted to go to penalties. Obviously, Qatar didn't, being the host nation. And um, there was a really good chance. I think Akram Afif had that great chance to score right at the end. And Yusupov, uh, I think, saved it. So that was a very good chance. It was almost Ali. I forgot which one. But I know one of the two guys missed a really good chance right at the end to seal it. And for yeah, for Uzbekistan, man, it goes to penalties. And oh, my God, the Uzbekistan penalties were bad. Especially the, um, Rust, um, the what is it called? The Jaldun Musgrove. That guy, that penalty was awful. Literally straight down the middle was unacceptable. The other penalties were bad, too. Don't go wrong. I think almost Ali missed the target. And I think... Almut Ali Mukhtar, I think, missed the target. I know Almut Ali missed the target. I don't remember the others. Let me see if I can find here. So Almut Al, Al Mukhtar. Yeah, it was too high. It was too high. So, yeah, for Uzbekistan, man, not good enough on penalties. And for Qatar, man, they prevail, man. They prevail as host nation. They'll be playing against Iran in the semifinals. And um, obviously, we'll have our final coming up on Saturday, of course. Remember, guys, there's two semifinals. We're going to have our Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively. I'll be dropping my Asian Cup semifinal video probably tomorrow. And then I think my AFCON one will also be on Monday. I think I'll do my... Actually, you know what? I think I'll... Yeah, I think I'll do the AFCON on Monday. Maybe I'll do both tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I don't really have much more to say here. It's just shout out to Uzbekistan. They did a great job making the quarterfinals. But unfortunately, they quite didn't have enough to make the final. I'm sorry, semifinals and for Qatar, man. Uh, they're going to have to improve a lot if they want to beat Iran. They're going to have to improve a lot with, if they want to beat Iran because that, that, that performance they did against Uzbekistan was really, really underwhelming. I expected more. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comment with your thoughts, comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys there, man. Peace out.